Circle of Consciousness is our weekly political education space, and it's a time where we try to take the work that we're doing out in the streets and come in here and talk about what are the politics, what is, what is the theoretical basis for what we're doing in the streets and behind our work. Okay. Tonight's uh, session to round out Black History Month, the one month we get, uh, we are going to have a conversation on black organizing, what that means and how it's related to the international struggle. In, in our freedom movement, we've had really great leaders who may not have actually stood up in front of people and gave speeches, but did really important things, uh, inspired many people. Little things like uh, about how to get people there, how many porta potties you need, all these other things. I mean, that's all part of organizing, so it's it, it really important. My belief in leadership is that leadership is not what you have, but what you can make of other people. So the aim of leadership is to create other leaders and let them lead the way. The way that we see it is um, leaders or caretakers are people who don't think of themselves first, who are able to think of their community first. And I think that a lot of the problems that all of us work on stem from people thinking about leadership and leaders in that way are thinking about individuals and saying like, well, I have the right to go here when I want, or I have the right to do this or the right to do that. And instead, I think we need to start thinking about, it's my responsibility to take care of my community. It's my responsibility to have good relationships with my family. And start thinking of responsibilities instead of rights, you know? What leaders do is provide direction provide guidance. We have to cultivate our own leadership, right, of being able to see what's going on in the world, to be able to relate to other folks, and then to offer guidance. This country started off first with the genocide of the indigenous people of this country, and then the enslavement of people from Africa. This country isn't what it is without those two things. And so for me, it means that I have to look and understand that history, not just how it affects me, but how it affects everybody. Oh, because every one of us in this room, no matter, we are all Asiatics, whether we want to believe it or not. We will fight all forms of oppression by first, recognizing our own worth and value, by acknowledging the roles that we play in this country, and the power that each one of us holds. It comes with leadership. My motto is, I know we all share and we believe in that there are no big eyes and no little you. Get out and talk to the right people. Get up and do something. How we, we fight racism is you have to start right where you are. You're telling me don't give up for what I do now. They can go wherever they want to. I'm staying in the project and make sure we and build and make sure people can't go back in there. That's not uh, what we have to fight for is liberation for all people. Eh, que que the en la pobreza, en la esclavitud, en la ignorancia, en la separación. No solo aquí en el país, sino en todo el mundo. Y ese enemigo es el imperialismo norteamericano.